average true range there on the daily chart. Okay, so we are off to new structure highs. Hamid, you ready for the RB? Swing low, that high, pull it back down. Okay, so we're going to start off with a 1618 extension at about 749s. We're going to look at building a case for entry. Okay, now look at the market symmetry. I'm going to pull in the swing low right here. That was the low prior to a drive to that impulse high in wheat. I'm going to copy and paste that one, drop it in at the swing low that occurred prior to this projection. Okay. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So here's a one-to-one -one measured move on the daily. Okay. Now let's take a look at the last swing. So now watch. We're building strength to signal here. Let's expand this. And now let's just go focus on the right side of the directional move. Going to take the swing low. There's my initial impulse high. Pull it back in. 127 extension met right here. 127, 1618 at 734s. Caught the highs yesterday, and now we've moved through that. Okay, so but you do see the 127. Remove this guy. Now, the market made this new structure high. Look left. There's my swing low. 1618, And then here's our final fib. Okay, so the 749, 750 area on wheat for the aggressive short entry. That's that's exactly right. That's exactly right. And then finally here, Hamid, and I think I sent you that chart. Right there, A, B, drop it in, C, D. Okay, so we're just building a case there, traders, for a 749 short entry. Okay. And again, Meredith, you've been long since uh, whatever it was. I think you mentioned 725 possibly. But um, that gives you an opportunity to see that 749 sell. And again, the reason I posted that 1618, you've got to look at stops above that. Now, how do we determine potential profit targets? Let's go back in. We've got a previous one-to-one -one symmetrical move that shows and projects a 750. We've got a 1618 extension, 749. We've got AB equals CD in recent trade, 750s, okay? A lot of evidence. Now, let's look at the initial retracements after we made new highs, previous legs. Okay, so if 750, then one, two, three drives to a top. Okay, 750 retrace down to around 7 tenths. So about a 40 cent pullback probable. Then, if we do see a significant top, let's go look at longer time frame. Okay, one-to-one -one measured move. Let's take the last swing. We'll get rid of this analysis. And on the weekly, we'll look at this. There's the swing low, new structure high. Minimum, again, look at the strength of that move. Okay, so when we see that type of strength, look at the 382. There'd be a 683.60. Now, again, let's pull this up, and we're going to make this guy terminate at 750, right at or near where the sell signal came in that we just looked at. So 750s to 688s, okay, about 75 cents. And then this could be the top of a, a big pattern for a potential bid. Okay, so I just wanted to walk through that wheat analysis back down to the daily. And now let's drill down further and go look at the 120 and see if we can find additional evidence. Okay, there's my swing low on a two hour. Impulse high. See that 127? 751, two cents above. Okay, so again, more relevance on the 120 minute time frame as well. Now again, as we looked left, we can't, could not find on that daily or weekly chart any additional points of confluence, but we do see ratio completion as that market drives up into that area. So it's aggressive at best because we're not able to find that ratio confluence. DST traders, okay?